Hello, Chase and Creative Gems here, and uh, I thought I would uh, open up Shining Fates. But really, the point of this is not just to open up a Shining Fates. It's uh, I heard something. I'm a small, very small scale seller of graded cards on eBay, mainly because I grade cards. If I get duplicates, I sell those duplicates. Or maybe if I'm feeling uh, lucky, I might actually make a bet thinking that a certain card will increase in value and I'll buy a couple graded if I get a good grade. I might turn around and sell it. But mainly it's to fund my own hobby, which this is, you know, this is my hobby. Opening cards, a lot of grading cards. But what I just heard is eBay has partnered with um, CGC to authenticate cards over a certain value where the seller now has to send those cards into uh, CGC. CGC will evaluate them, tell if they're actually an authentic card, and then send it back in a sealed envelope, supposedly tamper-proof. And then the seller has a authenticated card. And my first, my gut response was, oh, that's, that's actually kind of cool. You know, I don't deal with raw cards. So when I sell cards, um, they're always graded or it's sealed product. And usually it's not in the value enough that it would be worth the time and expense to reseal something. And also because it's unethical, of course, first of all. But, you know, I don't, I don't sell first edition booster boxes. Hey, that's not bad. Of anything um, that's too expensive. I have a couple first edition boxes of newer Japanese things, but I st it, it kind of caught me off guard, you know, I, I hadn't thought of it, and then when I saw a YouTube video about this, I thought about it, and I realized, like, I'm not too happy with that, and it's not because it's not a service that should be done, that makes sense, it's because CGC doesn't have its own house in order. My, my last submission with CGC for um, Pokemon cards has been sitting in waiting, you know, scheduled to grade since October of last year. It's like October 24th, 25th, something like that. And it's just been sitting there. It's supposed to be when I turned it in, you know, I knew when I turned it in that the waiting time was massive. And they did tell me it's like 185 days, working days. And that now it's, I see it's down to like 170. So they have made progress. But how can you go about creating a whole new product, a whole new facility, or are you using the same facility you have to authenticate eBay's cards when you can't even get people's cards back in a reasonable time? Like 170 days, even though it's less than 180 days, is just not a reasonable time. That's, that's not a reasonable turnaround time. People who grade aren't always looking to flip. They're, they're not always looking to sell, but they are not looking to sit something in for a, ooh, for a year and a or you know some people were a year some you know that's that's just crazy that's 170 working days is is a very long time and it's a very long time for you to send or me to send in you know a thousand dollars worth of cards and at 22 to 25 dollars a pop even just bulk order 50 of those plus shipping that adds up really quickly and how can you charge that much if at the same time you're not putting the manpower that you obviously have dedicated to this new procedure into fixing the fact that your bread and butter business of grading doesn't actually turn around things at a time that's manageable for the average person. And on top of that, ha having been a member of CGC for a while, they still don't have a pop report for their cards. And if you ever frequent the... Um, the chat boards that they have. There's people asking about that all the time. And there's a nice, very nice person named Paul that always answers back and tells them, oh, you know, it's coming quick. It's it's this time. And, but they always just kick the goalpost or, or move the goalpost. Oh, it's going to be in a couple months. It's going to be end of the year. It's going to be February. It's going to be mid to late February. When I see it, I'll believe it at this point. It's been going on for a long time. 
And how can you do that? But continue to expand and take people's money for grading at a time frame that's not reasonable, and then put manpower, put, put people on the idea of authenticating cards for eBay. And like I said, it's not that it isn't a good idea to get your cards authenticated. It's more the fact that it's, there are, you have other business to attend to. And it really makes me wonder. My my CGC subscription auto renews in um, February, and I am very seriously thinking about letting it expire and and not letting it auto renew. Now I enjoy grading my cards, my comics, but this this is just a little ridiculous. Like I, I have used now, and I never thought I would use SGC for two orders and they got my orders back to me in 30 days and they're <laughs> yes. yes oh man i'm on this this you know wine fest and i land that Oof. there we go if they can turn around something in 30 days how can sg or cgc not beat freaking half a year six months they're, they're not turning around that even now, that is it's just it's criminal to sit there and accept money it's not really criminal it's not criminal but it's it's so it's rude to the consumer to accept their money for a product and then not provide the customer service not provide the product in a time frame that's actually usable oh that's such a good pickup <sighs> You know, I would love to send this in to SGC or CGC, but with the turnaround times, oof, this is a hot box. With the turnaround times being so bizarre and so long, I'm most likely going to use SGC again. Their tuxedo slabs are really nice looking, and I'm not an SGC fanboy. I'm not someone who specifically seeks them out before the first submission which the video is in in here I, I had never used sgc let alone really heard of them that, that wasn't something i had ba was barely aware of there being older vintage baseball cards that had a slab that went from like zero to 100 or something like that you ended up with like a two digit number like 88 99 something like that but that was nothing i was really aware of and i knew they'd been around a minute but what really captured me was the turnaround time. If you can turn around my cards in 30 days, and now SGC saying 20 to 25, that's what I'm gonna use. Because I want my cards back. You know, I don't want to hoard, you know, 50 cards to 100 cards, send them in, and just be sitting on the fact that my money's tied up for months and months and months, when I can just get it in less than a month. And, you know, that's the uh, tirade over, I'm sorry. Ah, look at that. And this is this is pretty good, too. The centering is actually really nice. That is going in, for sure. These guys, nice to get some baby shinies. Alcremi I could kind of do without, but still can't say no to a rainbow rare. And then your oh-so-rare, oh-not-overprinted-at-all promo card. Well, this has been Chasing Graded Gems. Thanks for letting me vent, and uh, till we meet again.